I'll show you the modeling of soil for any building. I'll start from the beginning. So I'll take one structure. It will be like this only. It's a initial stage. So we'll take this building. So we'll consider this as a building. Now we should model soil below this building. Uh, we'll also to model the building first. So I'll uh, define all the materials and all. Okay. Now I'll define the section properties. This is just something like something I'm putting. Okay. I'll now also define uh, the slab. Okay, all the materials, I mean, pro section properties are defined. I'll assign them. The beams are assigned on the assigned slabs. Slabs are also done. I'll put columns. So this model is ready, the building is ready. Now we have to uh, put soil beneath that. So what we'll do is define soil first. Go to materials, add a new material. In this material type you'll have to select others. Okay. Soil you're taking. Now you'll have to put this data by your own. So for to make it simple, I'm taking some data from a paper. So in this unit width of soil is 18 kN per meter cube. The modulus of velocity is 65,000 and percentage ratio is 0.3. So I'll put this data. 18 65,000 plus 0.3 only. You should keep in mind the units when you're doing this. Okay. Okay, now again you'll have to define the solid first. So go to solid properties, add a new property, name this as soil, select soil. Okay, okay. Now uh, you have to make uh, soil in uh, solids, so you'll have to put grid lines first for them. We have this area now, this grid lines. I'll go to grid, edit grid lines. We're having four, six meters 
each base 6 meters 6 12 and 18 on either sides this is a square building so we'll add few more uh, grids so i'll put 6 meter on uh, i'll add 6 meter on either sides 6 24 minus 6 and 24 and same on the in the y direction 24 minus 6 this is done uh, how much depth we want for the soil that we'll have to add now okay from 0 we'll have to put negative number uh, so that the grid is below the building level mm, i'll take 10 meters minus 10 okay okay and okay the grid is ready now what we have to do is go to the zero level x y zero level here we'll draw a slab select it as none we'll draw the slab and now we'll select the slab select extrude we are going downwards so we shouldn't put any dead data in this and this we'll have to put it in here we've gone 10 meters thickness 10 number also 10 you don't forget to select this delete source objects okay now you got soil this soil you have to edit this what you have to do is break it into pieces so go to select select properties solid properties soil select it go to edit divide solids if you make them into small pieces number of solids put five don't put anything for Z. Okay, the soil is ready now. You'll have to put boundaries for the soil. So, first thing you should do is take one plane, exit plane I'm taking now. Select this plane. This is exit plane, okay either sides then go to assign joints that is strains since this is exit plane we don't want any motion in y direction so we'll select only translation 2 we'll apply constraints in y direction okay that's done now we'll go to y z plane this should be on the edge of the soil select these two planes this is y z plane we don't want any uh, trans uh, any moment in x direction so we'll select translation one click on apply now go to x y plane you should go to the last level last plane select the hole and put fixed connection okay your soil is ready input anything now like any kind of loops and do the analysis